and welcome to App Snacks, bite-sized reviews of educational apps for teachers and students. This isn't the how to do it, but what can it do? And I hope to give you enough information to decide whether this app has value to you. So I'm going to be keeping it simple today with a great little app called Sketch. Here it is on my desktop. This is a handy tool for annotating pictures um, that you've taken or you're using from the web. So here we are, I've opened it up and we get a little splash screen asking you to sign in. If you're part of Evernote, that would be great, but we don't have to. So I'm going to go down here to maybe later and press that. Now, as I haven't signed in, I can annotate a photo and I can save it to my camera roll, but if I want to bring in another photo, uh, the one I've just done will disappear from Sketch. Not from the camera roll, but from Sketch, so just be aware of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is choose a photo. I've got many options as you can see here, but to demonstrate this app, I'll just take a photo that I have here. Take one from my science, and then I shall open it up, and it will be right there on my screen. Okay, once I've done this, I can then start working on it. I talked about annotations. I've got various buttons down here, and I'm gonna just do a quick arrow because I wanna highlight something on my picture, and that's gonna be this little follower wheel here. Or if I uh, want to change an arrow, I can change the direction and um, position if I like by just touching it there. Great, that looks good. So I'm now going to actually add some text to it. Of course, if we're annotating, we want text. And then what we do right here is just type in. So I'll just type the type of gear and get rid of my keyboard. It's done. Now, I don't really like the size of that, but I can just press on the actual uh, text itself and I get some buttons popping up that will allow me to edit for example the size of it here and this little button here will allow you to go between fancy text and normal text great so I've got my annotation my arrow other things I can do I can add uh, little diagrams for example uh, shapes rather I've got the shape here let me just take this I can draw a circle on take that over my handle Great, that's done. Well, maybe I'm not liking the colors right now of anything. I can go back and always change it. I'll just quickly um, highlight it. So we've got the marching ants. Now I'm gonna jump down to the little color box. And so I can also change colors from here and I can change line thicknesses. So we can make that thin and I'm gonna make this a little bit uh, brighter yellow. And I'm done. So that's another great feature. What else can I do? Well, there's the regular um, marker. If we've got some text in the photograph or something, we can just use a highlighter. And then there's this little tool down here, which I like. Um, I call it the blocker. And what this will do is if you have some personal information, uh, for example, identifying information uh, on a photograph or as a face of somebody who doesn't want to be in it, you can just use this to go over and mask out the uh, information, text, or face. I have to show you on the gear wheel here, it's not gonna be the clearest example, but you'll get an idea. So I'm just gonna go over this gear wheel, and it will turn it into a kind of mosaic pattern. You can see approximately what's under there, but no real detail. So a really good tool for doing that. Of course, then we've got crop, which is also useful if we want to just zone into a part of the picture that we've got and not use it all very simple to use and then when we're done I'll just press on crop again and it will be done and a final little thing that I really like about this app is um, we've got some little markers on here like this we can then choose some of these to add question marks or caution points so if we're doing a poster or something it's really great to just be able to choose some of these and put them on so I'll just choose a question mark and uh, place it on here and once I've placed it on, again, I can move it around. But another great thing, if you're wanting to make posters for um, students or you're just wanting to add some other icons for information. So there we go. That is Skitch. Just remember, if ever you make a mistake on Skitch, you do have some undos and redo keys. There's also, if you want to get rid of things, there's a delete key that will come up down at the bottom here when you're done. So what I can do now is I can save this, export it here to my camera roll. So it's done. And I've got a permanent copy of it right here. Um, because then the next time I bring in a photo, 
I am going to have a new one. This one won't be able to come back because I've had my chance with it. But like you can see, you can generally get this done pretty quickly. I hope that's been a useful overview of this app and it's going to be useful for you. 